Is there somewhere in this whole process a sure knowing that comes? A sure knowing that differentiates between you um, yeah, I worry about whether I'm imagining things. Yeah. When you make the transition between the seventh and the eighth sphere, everything goes from faith into reality. So so what what you know what I mean by faith? Faith is faith is thinking you, or feeling something is true but you don't really know it yet. But you have this feeling it's true. It's like a and a, a Paul, the apostle Paul said when he was on a it's the assured expectation of things hoped for. In other words, you believe in all your mind that what you're hoping for is a reality. That's faith. Well, it becomes reality in the transition between the seventh and the eighth sphere. So what happens there is you, you, you have this transformation that occurs between those two locations where what you thought was real becomes real. It's like the difference between knowing you can walk through the wall and actually walking through the wall. Right? Then you don't. Then you do it without thinking. So, so that's the transition that occurs in the born again transition. The, the transition between the seventh and the eighth sphere. Until then, you will go through doubts and you will go through issues with, you know, wondering whether it's true or not true, and not really knowing and hoping that it's true, and all sorts of things. And you will learn as you grow to trust more and more and more and more what you're receiving. And the same applies as a medium. That's the case. So all of you who are developing as mediums. One thing you'll need to bear in mind, and that is, you're not going to be perfect at the start, right? And even for a long time, you might not be perfect. And if you don't experiment, you expect yourself to be perfect right at the beginning. It's going to be quite difficult. So you need to give, out, give away these expectations of being perfect. Give away these expectations that you shouldn't be wrong. The truth is, you're going to be wrong because your condition as yet isn't into an alignment condition. And even then, if you're transmitting information from higher spirits, you don't know what their feelings are, so you still might feel transmit something incorrectly. Because obviously it's very dependent upon the differential between their condition and your condition as to what you will accurately transmit. So get used to being wrong. It's about good naturedness too, isn't it? Totally, yeah. Because Be happy in the whole process. <laughs> Have an interaction here on earth. Yeah. So, Not always though, do we? Well, <coughs> like yesterday our conversation didn't have many good intentions. Had good intentions. Didn't it? The emotions are being expressed were it? Were they? No, they no. weren't. Okay. So it's not always the case, but, but it's obviously about, all this is about good nature. Yeah. As our condition grows, intentions. as our condition grows, obviously our intention improves and it becomes more loving. And as that intention improves, Obviously, that's going to attract a whole group of information and spirits that are, have also that same kind of intention. Certainly. Yeah. 